Hey everybody and um, welcome to Robin's house. I want to do a quick tutorial on how to create those little boxes to work with um, creativity and motion if you don't have the stitched frames, the square and rectangle frames, or you're doing something outside of those sizes. For example, um, one of the layouts I'm doing has this very long um, creativity and motion. Oh, let's see if I can. This is um, it's difficult to work in this because right side is left and left side is right, but that's okay. Uh, so anyway, I want to show you a quick way to how you can build your own boxes, any size that you're wishing for, so that you could make your own. So let me share my screen real quick. And then the boxes are actually really, really simple to make. So all you have to do is click on the shape and choose a square. And then you have to know the size, the size of the box you want to create. So the frame that I want to create for this project is uh, the, the outside is 10 and a half. So I'm going to go to the, I'm going to go up to the top. I want to have, I don't want it to be square anymore. So I want the width to be 10 and a quarter. And I want the height to be three and three quarters. So now this is the outside edge of my green box that I just showed you. So the next thing I want to do is I want to duplicate that so that I have two. So now I can build the frame because obviously I don't need the inside of the frame. I need to cut it away. So this one is, so if this is 10.25, I need to make it a half an inch less, a quarter inch on each side. So now I need it to say 9.75. And I'm gonna undo that lock again. So it was, but it, it probably changed, so I'm gonna check it. It was 3.75. So I now need it to be 3.25. So now I have the frame size of my box, but the tricky part is where does it go? Because I'll tell you what, eyeballing it on the Cricut does not work. So what I do is I take that outer box and I'm gonna move it over to position one and then again to position one. Then I'm gonna move this other box to position 1.25, which will get it a quarter of an inch in from the other box. And then I'm also going to put it at 1.25, which will put it a quarter of an inch down from that other box. So now it's sitting right smack in the middle of where that box should sit. So I'm going to push shift and then select. So now I have both of those boxes selected and I'm going to go down here and I'm going to slice them apart. So I'm going to get rid of one. So I've clicked on one. I'm going to delete it. So it doesn't look like anything is missing, but it really is. So now I got rid of the second box. So this is the piece that's cut out of the first box. So just to make it so it's obvious, I'm gonna turn this one green because you saw that the box that I was holding was green. But this piece, I'm gonna turn white because this is actually gonna become the sliding box for my critters. So as you can see, if I put it back where it lives, it's just the right, height that I need it to be, but it's not long enough to have that tab there on the right hand side. So I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to go up here to the sizes. I'm going to un unlock the proportions again and I'm going to add three quarters of an inch because that, that's the size that seems to work pretty good for me. It gives me at least an eighth of an inch of play uh, in case there's a mistake that I made or something and then it, it still has plenty of room for that tab. So I'm gonna add three quarters of an inch to this 9.75, which gives me 10 and a half. So I'm gonna put 10.5, and you can see that it's a half an inch beyond that edge of the frame. So now you are ready 
to print your uh, Cricut design. So all you have to do is you save it first, of course, you always want to save it, but now you can make it. And since you turned them into the colors that you're going to be printing them on, I've already got a white one set up and the green one set up and it's all ready to go. So you just do that for all the sizes that you want and it will be easy as pie. So thanks so much for coming and I hope you build your own version of this super cute uh, dancing critters uh, to go with their layout that I built for you. So have a great day, happy crafting, and thanks for watching.